Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached a new milestone in the wrestling cold journey. Let's see what Virtual Basement has to say about this. This product is a labor of love. And episode seven marks another step in bringing our vision to life. In this tech demo, so that's important to note, this is a tech demo, we're sharing what we've been working on, a new stadium, the raw power of Unreal Engine 5, and a few surprises that reflect our dedication to this craft. Boom! They dropped the bomb in the middle right there. This isn't just about the final product. It's about the process, the creativity, and the passion driving every update. We're excited to document this journey and share it with those who appreciate the art of game development. So this is pretty much them telling y'all to relax. Sit back, it's gonna take a while, but we're working on this and we got it. Now, if they're gonna document the journey, that's something very exciting to hear because that's pretty much what everybody has been asking for just keep us updated and let us know what's going on along the way and they've kind of been doing that with the motion capture stuff so it's not like we weren't getting any updates watch the full video below and witness a glimpse of what keeps us inspired every day let's go ahead and check out this tech demo all right the wrestling code episode seven let's get it the following tech demo runs in engine and showcases model creation, materials and shaders, motion capture, rigging and skinning, lighting, VFX effects and voiceover. Let's check it out. All right, tech preview, episode seven. It's not just a game anymore. Ooh, okay. DMX real-time lighting system for entrances, check. Audience system that can render 18,000 in attendance. Ooh, check. Finalized motion capture entrance pipeline, check. New wrestler announcement, check. New stadium arena showcase, check. Entrance pyro, Titantron system, and smoke effects, check. Let's check them out. I love how that backed into the Titan Tron. And then we get our debut of the newest wrestler to enter the wrestling code, and that is Chris Danger. Now, this is very early on, but I can tell y'all right now, this looks great. I was kind of worried after we got that last tech demo because King Kong Bundy and whoever else he was fighting the graphics in that did not look like we saw before. Like when we saw Tony Cheney and Sandman in the ring, it looked completely different and I got kind of worried. But looking at this model for Chris Danger brings things back for me because, I mean, there'll be some other stuff we point out here as well, but just look at it. I love the art style, the graphic style, whatever you want to call it that they went with. His face scan looks exactly like him, so that's a good sign for things to come. But not only that, man, look at the arena around him. If they nail this, this is going to be insane. Check out the pyro. He's pretty close to it, though, Chris. You better watch out or you're going to end up like the Undertaker. Check out, check out the big size of that arena. Look at the crowd. They are at AEW All-In Wembley Stadium from the looks of it. Filled up to the rafters. All right, so we are, another thing to point out, they are going full entrance edition. So we are not getting the half entrances like we got with AEW Fight Forever. They are going all the way. Okay. So I think the model looks great. I think the arena looks magnificent. The arena is actually the star here. The way the arena looks, the stage, the crowd. Listen, if they pull this off, again, it's going to be insane. But Chris Danger looks just like him, but I think the facials need a bit of work. We got to see a bit more expressions on his face because he just looks like a bored guy coming out there right now. And it's early on, so I understand that. But look at the crowd going crazy. Check out that shot. Early on, and this is already one of the best wrestling arenas we've ever seen in the game. I love that they put that Wrestling Cold logo up there because it creates shots like this. Masterclass work. 
Whoo, that arena looks so good, man. All right, so we got a full-blown entrance here for Chris Danger. But there's some other things we need to point out because do y'all see this table outside of the ring? We got an announcer table right here as well. So looks like we will be able to put these wrestlers through the table. One thing I want to I wanna know is will we be able to take them through the crowd? That is a pretty big audience. I mean, we see an open pathway up there, but are they going to open up this crowd for us to explore? That'll be amazing. Probably unlikely, but it would be amazing. So we got two announced tables. You can see another table over there and there's a cooler on it. So it looks like there's going to be some things to do outside of the ring. So everything we've seen so far looks great. I think the arena and the fans are the star of the show. And if they can nail this and not have to scale it back for the final product, 10 out of 10. The model looks great, CD looks exactly like CD, and the graphics look good on them too. But now, we get to the most important part of this trailer, because you can make everything look as pretty and as elaborate as possible, but if the gameplay isn't there, then we got another day on our hands. So let's jump in here and see what they're cooking up with this gameplay. Alright, we start off with Chris Danger and Ken Shamrock. Chris Jan Danger pulls off the eat the feet. Soul food, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we got Matt Cardona in there. Ooh, a lot of kicks. You know what? I love the sales on these. DDP. Bang. Kurt Angle. We got RVD. Sure, Mr. Dubs is going to love that one. Canadian Destroyer. Oh, I love the sails. The sails are beautiful. I love them. Is that Ultimo Dragon? Boom! Eat the feet. Soul food again, whatever you want to call it. Another one. Oh, that was a massive drop. The ring actually shook with that one. Are they giving us some type of hint at how bigger wrestlers will affect the ring? Maybe you can crash it like a Brock Lesnar match. But let's go ahead and talk about the gameplay. So if we're going to talk about gameplay, I think we got to start off with the first thing we actually see. And that is the graphics and presentation. Now, some people say this is not important, but for me, I think it is very big. And I think they actually nailed it. Starting with the presentation, they went with the ramp camera opposed to the hard side camera. Great decision. I like the ramp camera a lot better. Another thing with the presentation, if we look at Ken Shamrock, he actually stands like Ken Shamrock. One thing we complain about a lot in other wrestling games is that the wrestlers don't really feel like wrestlers. They kind of feel like MMA fighters, but if they're going back to this, giving everybody their own stance, I think that's a big win and that's going to make this game feel very unique and it makes it feel like a premium product. Another thing, straight up, the graphics. Now I'm looking at this in 720p right now and it still looks really good. I would love to see how it looks in 4K, but if they can nail this look, I'll be fine with it. You don't got to improve it much more than this. Of course, polish it up a little bit. But if this is the look we get with the wrestling code, I think this game is on the right track and it can be a contender. But of course, there are some things that need work. If we look at the actual gameplay. It's a little bit slow still. This is something I noticed in the last trailer. It looks better than it did in the last tech demo, but I still think things need to be turned up quite a bit when it comes to speed. But the crowd. Now, of course, they do take a step down from what we see in the entrance motions, but the crowd still looks great. Got a little dim light on them, but it's still giving them a really good look. So I like the way the um, crowd looks in here as well. While sitting down, everybody's still going crazy. Now, Zack Ryder, Matt Cardona, I think his model looks great in here as well. This is probably the one we should have showcased, in fact. And just the animations and the cells. Pay attention to when he gets kicked. Love it. Love it. It's kind of extra like when The Rock takes the stunner, but I think it's beautiful. 
Chris Danker here kind of twerking a little bit, though. I don't know what's up with that. Let's go back. After he hits that kick, he starts twerking. Swinging them hits from side to side. Maybe that's how he stands in real life. Then we got DDP. I almost didn't even recognize DDP here, but <laughs> bang, that is my boy. Chair catch kick. You see the chair bent up in the background. Kurt Angle is another one that looks great in here. Why aren't we showcasing him? But there you notice as well, animation's a bit slow and floaty. Hopefully they can speed that up a little bit and add a little bit more snap to it. Because I think that's the only thing missing from the gameplay we see right now. That extra snap. No reason to keep harping on it, but I mean, you see it all throughout. It's a bit slow. Ultimo Dragon, another great model. I wonder if Chris Dankers is um, early because everybody else, it looks a bit more complete than his does. A lot of these are models we saw a while ago though. But I love the shake when the big man hits the ring. I think they put that in here for a reason. I think big men will kind of behave different than uh, the smaller men. Because let's see when he hits the ring. In fact, let's compare it to who else took the soul food. Let's see when Ultimo Dragon hits the ring. See that? Not really much shake to it. But when this guy hits the ring, you can feel the impact. Oh, you can even feel it, even not holding a controller. So I like that. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. It looks like we are on a good path. I mean, like they say, y'all, whether we like it or not, it's been a long time since we've heard about this game and we still don't have it in our hands, but it looks like they are making progress. This is the biggest look we've had at the Wrestling Code. And the last time we got a look at it actually wasn't even too long ago. So they are keeping us in the loop at this point. And that's all we've really been asking for. So where are y'all? What do y'all think about the Wrestling Code in the state it's in right now? Let me know in the comment section. And we might have an interview coming up here with Dre41 who threw out the offer. And we are definitely going to take it. So Mr. Dre, I will be reaching out to you on X. But y'all are going to have to go on my second channel to catch that. And it is up here. Click on that video if you want to check it out. Bomb Squad, let's get to that.